In this video, I'm going to show you how to create both a bomb site and a buy zone. To create a bomb site, click Browse on the active material in the bottom left and search for Trigger. The trigger material is invisible and non solid in game. Once the trigger material is selected, press Shift B to use the block tool and create a block where you want the bomb site to be. Once the block has been created, press Shift S to use the selection tool, select it, and press Ctrl T to give it a function. In the bottom right are the properties. Change the object properties into Funk Bomb Target. It is now a bomb site. By default, it is bomb site A. You can change this in the properties under the bomb site drop down list. You can press T to use the translate tool and move the bomb site while holding Shift to duplicate it. Let go of Shift once it's been duplicated and move it to wherever you want your bomb site B to be. Don't forget to change it into bomb site B in its properties. To make a buy zone, create a block with the trigger texture, just like the bomb site. Press Ctrl T, but this time change it into a funk buy zone. By default, both teams can buy in this buy zone. But you can change the team number to 1 for CTs or 2 for terrorists. Make sure your player starts inside the buy zone. Also, people will complain if your buy zone is too small, so make sure you give enough room for people to walk a couple seconds before they exit the buy zone. You now have a working buy zone and bomb site. If you have any issues, join my Discord server or the Source Engine Discord server, both of which will be linked in the description. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Bye.